The Pioneer Museum is a hidden gem that contains a lot of Flagstaff and Northern Arizona history. NAZ Today's Colleen Sikora headed out to the museum to check out the facelift the Pioneer Museum is undergoing. As you're heading out to Snowball on Fort Valley Road, you might notice this large train sitting off to your right. What you might not know is that this train actually marks the location of the Pioneer Museum, which has as much of Northern Arizona's history. This building that houses the Pioneer Museum was built in 1908 and served as the county hospital for the indigent for 30 years. Now, the house serves as a museum, showcasing pieces of history that make Northern Arizona special. We tell a story of how Flagstaff got its start and some of the early history of the, the families that came here that have had a really deep impact on the community and can continue to have an impact on the community today. However, in order for the community to be able to experience and learn about the history of Northern Arizona, the Arizona Historical Society is refurbishing the house to bring it back to its original roots. What we tried to do is we tried to, to get in and get rid of some of the modern um, layers of history that have covered up the real historicness of the building. So the linoleum floor, some of the, some of the things. So we've just been kind of giving it a, taking it back to some of its former grandeur. One of the new additions to the museum will be a non-circulating library containing historical documents and photographs that will be open for public research. The Arizona Historical Society, which manages both the Pioneer Museum and the Reardon Mansion, is turning 150 years old and is celebrating in a unique way. The state has picked 150 objects that we think are really um, a good representation of where we are at 150 years old. And so there'll be several things on exhibit here emphasizing our, our, what we think is a really great part of our history at 150. 25 to 30 of those objects will be on display at the Pioneer Museum when it plans to reopen March 1st. For NAZ Today with videographer Nick Ponticello, I'm Colleen Sikora.